Good morning. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> Good morning. <clears throat> it's your brother J.D. Nijah. Coffee with J.D. Nijah. Word of truth with J.D. Nijah. So, yesterday I went into um, GMS. Let the priests do their work. What I'm finding out which is making me very feel very lonely and and um, sad is that there's very few people of Israel, true true Israel. I don't know who these black Hebrew Israelites are. They're not they're not who they say they are because. If they were, they would let the priests do the work. The priests... Before I get started. All praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Yeshua, Yahshua, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, depending on what language you speak derivatives of Yahshua and the Ruach in the Paleo-Hebrew, if there is a reality to that. goes back to Jigaboo language, probably. <clears throat> is the Holy Spirit that gives us power, wisdom, knowledge, ability, and spirit. Spirit, spirit, to push out biblical truths against all, all comers, all takers. <laughs> Amen. So, I'm finding myself in a very, very rough position here because not only do I not have anyone coming alongside me and going, dude, you have something. I don't know what you have, but you have something. Um, Jay Hall, at, at, least, at least you're coming along for the ride because... Um, we are few and far between, brother. And I know you don't believe in all the things I believe in, but at least you're you're picking up on the other stuff. You know, I don't know if you believe in flat earth and and um, <laughs> Joseph is the father of Jesus. I don't know if you believe that, but maybe as time goes on, it'll the spirit will help you see things differently, but I'm glad you're here. Cheers, brother. So, um, let me go back to where I was. Um, I was in, um, where was that? Moses, Deuteronomy. Um, so, what these Judites are doing, they're, um, the, the kingly line, the, the Jude, Judaic line, the Yehuda, <clears throat> these were the kings. And there's lots of places in the Bible where the kings, <clears throat> The kings went off, and the first king was, and and this is, and see, this is where um, GMS totally just fucking jumps the shark. Instead of realizing, you know, even though Benjamin was the first king, um, and he messed up, they act like the kings of Judah were some fucking awesome kings. The kings of Judah were fucking wicked too, bro. They don't, they don't never get into the wicked kings of Judah because they are the wicked kings of Judah. Fucking makes me sick, man. They, they just 
take what they want out of the Bible, but they leave everything else behind. There's a whole story that they just don't even touch because it would point out their their fucking evil wickedness. It, it's 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 sickening. They keep saying the same things over and over again. Man, 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 we're the kings of Judah. We're the ones. We're the prophets. We know this. We know that. Blah, blah. Uh, fucking. Dudes, can you go anywhere else? Do you have anything else to say? Do you have anything else to say? It is just sickening. So, um. going to go into the, um, let's see. So they were talking about flat earth again. Just, just ridiculous. Um, blot out Amalek, blot out Amalek. Um, so it's back here. I'm I, I'm kind of lost here. Um, <clears throat> should have found my spot. I, th I thought I would just jump right to it. Uh, here it is. Uh, the blessing for the tribes. This is Moses. After... Um, after the Song of Moses, like I read yesterday, um, Moses blesses the tribes, and this is where I was talking about um, the priests, <clears throat> letting the priests do their work. The, um, the priests were to take charge of the book Levites to char in charge of the book of the law. <clears throat> so not that the Levites were all good. <clears throat> part of the part of the curse comes down on the Levites too for um, letting strange beliefs co come into the congregation, and that that's epitomized by Ephni and Hopni. Or whatever their names were, the sons of Eli, Hopni, and anyhow, the two sons of Eli <clears throat> during the time of Samuel, they were doing sex in the temple and selling selling God to people, and they were doing all kinds of wickedness. But <clears throat> slock you. Back to the um, to the kings and the priest things. See the the Judah, the tribe of Judah. Let me read it so you can get an understanding. I I try and explain these things, and at this point, I'm just gonna let the Bible say it. So the Levites. If you go to Deuteronomy 32, 24, and it came to pass, Moses had made an end of writing the words of the laws of the book. So when he got done, all the laws, all the commandments, it was given to the Levites to take charge of. What does that mean? Let me read it. That Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, take this book of the law and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to God, and it may be... Therefore, a witness against you. For I know your rebellion and your stiff neck. Behold, why I am still alive to this day. You have been rebellious against the Lord and how much more after my death. So he's saying, <coughs> put the book in the ark. And you guys are going to be in charge of it. But <coughs> the ark and the Levites were, <coughs> excuse me, completely intertwined. Because they were the only ones that could cut, could carry that thing. You know when, um, who was it? Uriah touched that thing and it killed him. 
So what we see GMS doing is they're they're touching the ark. They're going to be destroyed. They don't know it yet, but they can't touch. They're they're touching. <clears throat> they're touching sacred things of the book, and they're not supposed to be touching it. <clears throat> they're supposed to be letting people like me that are um, pure of heart and know the Lord like I know myself. They don't understand. They they weren't given that part. They weren't given. See, that's why I say the earth is flat. And and how wish I had to be born of the Holy Spirit? Because I know that. I know, I'm know i of the priests. I know that. I come from Benjamin and Levi and Judah. I'm not of the kings. I'm not of the priests. And I'm not of the, the helpers. I'm of all three. The Lord told me, he said, you're one of mine. You're one of, you're of Benjamin, of Judah. And when he said that, I didn't realize, but that also means... Being that I was of both of them, I didn't realize at the time. I'm like, how can I be of both tribes? Well, I didn't know at the time those tribes camped together. <laughs> but I, in the bigger picture, these are the <clears throat> revelation. <coughs> Slakia. These are the revelations that are coming clear now. Is that um, whatever whatever job I had. It changed because somewhere along that line, I was of the Levitical tribes, and so sometimes I would I would be more of within the kingly line. That's when I was Adonijah. Um, that was the Judah, my Judah side, my Benjamin side. That just comes as the warring tribe. That's the one that always um, defended the temple every time, always ready to fight always ready to tell the truth, always ready to stand by the temple and by things sacred, sanctified, consecrated. And then my Levitical side was the one that actually did those things, was up in the temple singing, was um, carrying things, setting things up. I was a worker, a Levitical worker, and, and, and see... All those, all those three tribes are within me. I, I am the southern tribe. I am of that type. And so, <clears throat> when when you think of anyone who tries to claim just Judah or just Levi or just Benjamin, that's where they're all messed up. That's where that's where they've um, somewhere in their spirit they latched on to some one thing um, where. Benjamin would say, "We're the warrior tribe. We're the we're the special," but they're they're not just that. They're the singers too. Yeah, it's obvious because they they're the ones that um, are out in the world still singing about the Lord, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, so on and so forth. So anyway, GMS problem is they're all about Judah, <clears throat> and little do they know that that arrogance, that pride, that rebellious spirit against Benjamin and against Levi, especially against Levi. You'll notice if you go through the Kings, Saul was the first one that did it. Um, Samuel told him, dude, destroy everything. Don't save anything. And what did, what did um, Saul do? He took all the good stuff and killed all the bad stuff and thought he was able to do that. He got, he got taken out and David got set up. And then if you go through <clears throat> David, David did some of the same things. Although David did it with a pure heart. David went in and ate the showbread when they didn't have any food. And that at that point, there's a difference between being rebellious for your own sake and being rebellious for the nation. That's why David had... A heart after God. He went in and he got the showbread for him and his men to, to protect the temple and to protect his people. They needed to eat. They had they had to do something. So they they relied on the Lord to provide that food for him. And they knew in the in the temple there would always be um, resource for them, whether it be spiritual resource, food, men, prayer. 
um, there's always an answer there in the temple, and that's where David was different. But then <laughs> you go into a lot of the other kings. I'm not going to go into them because I don't study the um, wicked kings of Judah. There's enough of them. You could, you could throw a dart and hit a wicked king of Judah, and that's that's what these GMS guys are. They're they're touting globe Earth, which is completely unbiblical. I just looked up the firmament again. And it went into biblical cosmology. If you look in, even, even in Wikipedia, even in um, Google, if you ask Google what is biblical cosmology, it will show you biblical cosmology. There is a biblical cosmology. It's called a flat, round plane with a dome over it. That's the firmament. It's not that hard. I, I, the Lord showed me that in 2004 or five. It popped up in one of the Bible dictionaries or something I was studying back then. I was like, oh, oh, and I haven't, I haven't budged since. When he tells me, I listen. All you have to do is pull up biblical cosmology and it'll show you all kinds of pictures of the way the Bible says the earth is. So I was listening to fucking Malcolm today or Maccabean Spirit, that one jackass in um, Chicago. He's talking about the missiles. And it showed the missile flying up in the sky. And he's all, oh, there's proof that we're on a globe. I'm like, you motherfucker, man. You bag-taking bitch. Fucking piss me off, man. I told him, you're, you're going to get destroyed, you bag-taking fucking greedy fucker. GMS must be taking the bag because, see, when I'm, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make about the priests... If I'm telling you the truth, if I'm telling you this is the way, this is the way God wants it. That's all I'm doing. I, I, and the priests have been, man, their heads have been cut off because they had no other way to be except the way they are. They are that way. And a lot of them have their heads lopped off because they, there's no way there's no way that they can not follow their Lord. It's in it's in us. So when I said GMS, let the priests do your do their work. See what they should be doing is they should be listening to my messages and going. He doesn't have the exact same um, belief system as we do, but we know that he's of something of the pure priestly line, and we're gonna start talking about these things. They don't talk about nothing. They have their own fucking set shit. And see, that's where I'm different. I I don't know everything in the Bible. I, we're not meant to know everything in the Bible. That's why this shit was sealed. It's opening up now. But see, in the last days, knowledge will increase. But knowledge isn't increasing with these monkeys. They're saying the same things over and over and over again. And then they pull in current events to, um, to like, muddy the waters. It, it's just, it, it's it's too much. Um, so the blessing of the tribe. Let's go into this a little bit. This is Moses. This is pretty much at the beginning. You know, it's Deuteronomy. It's, Mo it's time of Moses still. Ay, yeah, yeah. So here I am <clears throat> out here fighting all by myself. Um, trying to get the truth out there. Trying to talk about things that matter. And these guys, all they can talk about is um, things that we know are going to happen. Food shortages, the chip, um, wars, earthquakes. I, we know that. Can we get people saved? Can we get people, can we get the truth out? <sighs> Too much. The blessings of the tribes. Uh, Deuteronomy 33. 
five. And here, I'll actually start at 33.1, so you get an idea of how important this was at the time. Um, and it reads, And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, the man of God, of the priestly line, Aaron and Moses, right? The man of God. Holy cow, people. <clears throat> the man of God. Bless the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai, rose up from Seir unto them, and shined forth from Mount Paran. And he came with ten thousands of saints from his right hand, went a fiery law for them. So he's saying, I, I, I gathered these people that were, I'm going to call my people. And I had a chariot and I led them through the wilderness. And um, I blessed them and I'm going to, protect them and all that, right? He's like, these are my people. Yay, he loved the people. All the saints are in thy hand. And see, these are the type of, <clears throat> these are the type of scriptures that let you know that um, the Lord and Moses and the people are, actually should be of one mind. We're supposed to have that spirit. We're supposed to have something different. And that's where I'm figuring out over this, over these messages that fucking GMS and these wicked niggas, they're not, they're not like me. And I'm not, I'm glad they're not like me because they're going to get destroyed and, and I'm going to be laughing at the end. I'm going to be laughing at them going, I told you, I fucking told you. He loved the people, all the saints are in my hand, and they sat down at thy feet. Everyone shall receive of thy words. What's he saying? If you were there, you got, you received the word. So if you're actually of the original saints of the Most High, if you were one of the first fruits, There's no way that you could be claiming spitting wet ball rocket or um, Joseph is the daddy of, of Yahweh It's impossible. And, it, and that curse has got to be broken. And the devil has, these, has people believing all kinds of nonsense. So anyway, Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. What did he say? He said, this is law. This is... This is solid shit. This is terra firma. This is <laughs> this is like the firmament. You can't get out of here. It's a flat plane with a hard dome over it. No one's going anywhere. No one's going anywhere. There's no fucking stars out there flying around space. It's, it's, it's almost laughable to even believe that. It's like... How stupid do you think we are? How stupid do you think we are? So here we go. Blessing of the tribes. Let me see how much time I got. 23. We'll, I, there's probably no way I can get this idea out there without um, making two. It's it's just the way it's just the way it goes. It takes it takes 10 minutes to, to start an idea. It takes 10 minutes or 20 to get the meat of it and it takes another 10 or 15 to um, conclude. So I wish I could do this stuff quicker, but it's a, it's a process. You can't just, you, learning isn't, isn't a 15 minute thing. So here we go. And he was king in Jeshurun when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. He was the head of Jeshurun is Israel. That's a, it's a um, sweet naming of Israel. Jeshurun, Jeshurun. Yes, you're on. Yes, you run. Yes, you run to the Lord. Yes, Jeshurun, Israel. You're my, you're my, my leaping doves. You're my, you're my bouncing um, baby boy. You're my. You're my pride and joy. Yes, you're on. That's that's what 
that's that's a sweet term for Israel. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be few. And see, this is what's interesting about this is, I was talking about this yesterday, and I didn't realize when I read this yesterday. Um, GMS says Reuben is a Seminole Indians. And um, uh, this company's called, check this out. <laughs> Evolution. What's it have? Evolution and a and a globe, right? Demonic shit. Even the even the um even the landscape companies are are wicked now. Evolution with a with a globe. Evolution. Did you come from a monkey? Anyway, we're talking about Reuben. Reuben is the so called Seminole Indians. And it says, let him be few. Well, it seems like the Seminole Indians are one of the smallest tribes, right? Why is, why is Moses saying, let, him be, um, let them not be few? Let not his men be few. So there's, a, there's some more bopping on GMS. It's like, are, is the 12 tribes chart right? Seems, some of it seems right. Benjamin seems right. Manessa seems right. The um, Cubans. Levi seems right. Sort of. The Haitians. They've been, they catch hell. They do all kinds of witchcraft and voodoo, but that's not what this lesson is about. This lesson is about the priests. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah, that's how it goes. All right, I got to get out of here. They're going to be blowing and working and working and blowing. Ay, yeah, yeah. Fucking devils, man. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to go find another spot. <laughs>